So, physical bullets are cool, but you want those mathematically calculated ray trace bullets that they have in online shooters. Not a problem. First, start with the particle that is built to be an illusion. It can be simple, this is all just smoke and mirrors. The bullet is not real, this is just a visual for the player to see. If you don't have one, you can download the one that my community has made for you, link down below in the pinned comment. To start things off, once you have it, right click, create blueprint actor, name it something like gun or ray turret, add a static mesh, set it to whatever you want, and make sure collision is set to none, then go under class defaults and under receiver input set it to player zero. And assuming we wanted it to fire every time we press the E key, the first thing we're gonna do is play a firing sound for the bullet. I'm just gonna use this one. And while we're here, we're also gonna create the muzzle flash particle that happens at the very beginning as well. I'm just gonna use the one from the last tutorial, then get an actor location, get an actor rotation, and get an actor forward vector. Drag out and multiply, drag out and add, and align trace for objects. Then drag everything together like so, then drag out a make literal int, and let's just set this number to something like 2000. Then make an array for a type of objects the trace can identify. We'll just add six slots and use the defaults that come with Unreal. Then drag everything together like so, set the type to for duration, and for the timer, we'll just say the debug should be visible for about one and a half seconds. And here's how this works so far. When the E key is pressed, we're gonna play a sound at the position and rotation of the turret. Then we're gonna draw a ray trace line from the location and the rotation of the bullet that can identify whether it's hitting the world, ponds, physical body, vehicles, or destructible things. And the number here determines the range of your ray trace. So here's what it looks like at a range of 600. And here's what it looks like at a range of 2000. Now we need to decide what happens if the ray trace collides with something. So from the out hit, we can break the hit result, expand, and if we drag from here, the next thing we'll want to do is spawn the actual visual bullet and set its starting position to the same as all of our other starting positions. Then we branch out, and if there is no collision, the bullet will only travel as far as the ray trace's range. But if we collide with anything before that, we want to make sure the bullet stops at the point of impact and then spawns a collision effect. For now, we're just going to use the muzzle flash from the beginning. Drag the hit into what happens when we hit, the return value of the Niagara particle into both the true and false possibilities, and the ray trace range into the false possibility. And finally, add the value of the ray trace into our conditional. Rename this particle position to start, and these to end. If you save now, you're done. Congratulations. Now you have a bullet that looks and behaves real, but is really just a mathematical line. I recommend only using this for really fast traveling bullets, because if the particle travels too slow, it will look really weird, because the collision effect will happen before the bullet completely travels the distance. Regardless, hope that helps, and as always, hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.